everybody. I am Slash from DC, and this is Vulture for NetHack. And this uh, episode in my uh, Samurai playthrough is going to be on Twitch as well, so the format might be a little bit different. Videos might run a little bit long. But if you're joining me on YouTube, great. If you're joining me on Twitch, welcome. Or welcome back. So let's get started. The overview, I'm playing with Melville the Ryoshu, who is a level 15... Samurai on dungeon level 15. I have just completed the quest. Uh, so, in my inventory, oh, oh, looking for my cursor. In my inventory, I have Amulet of Reflection. Okay, I'm two wielding. I've got the Longsword Frost Brand and a plus one katana. Wielding both at the same time. I've got a pretty basic armor set, except for a close of Cloak of Displacement and plus four gray dragon scale mail, which is helping me a lot. And where's my, there it is, the Blessed plus zero Zergi of Muramasa, which was my artifact gift. And over here, as yet unidentified, this silver bell is the bell of opening. So I couldn't be happier about this situation any way I look at it. And at this time, what do we got here? Silkugar. I've never seen this game before. Is it like Call of Duty? No, it is not. It's a little like Call of Duty when the wands start getting shot back and forth, but, uh, you know, no first-person view in this first-person shooter. <laughs> What's up, Silkabar? Sil Silkagar? Welcome back. Um, oh, so as to my goals here, since oh, I... Oh, Cougar's here. What's yeah, up, dude? Yeah, Cougar's on the channel. Oh, and Nymeria's here from her channel, Nimcraft. She's now twitching also. I think we decided to maybe twitch on a more on a regular schedule this game for a little while. Yeah. And get the videos on YouTube as well. So, how you doing, Nim? <laughs> Good. Hey, Dark Warrior. What's up, Dark Warrior? Just joined. Yeah. Us. Hey, so Cougar. So this game is NetHack. It's NetHack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty well set up. I've got. He just cheated this character in. I didn't just cheat this character in, and I've got the video evidence to prove <laughs> it. So. Yeah, scroll of teleport for emergencies. I got a bag full of goodies too. We can have a quick look at those at the outset. Um, a lot of this stuff I got from my wand of wishing, so I haven't actually got to the next wand yet, and I may have a charge left. Do I have it here? Or I've got it in my you bag. Got it in your bag. Also, I have a wand of death on me, so I'm fully prepared to deal with um, old what's his name, Rodney the Wizard, if I get that far. But all in all, this character has not been as far as uh, Nymeria's. Nymeria, what were you playing as? Oh, Valkyrie. Valkyrie. Yeah. And I've got a stash on one of these levels going down that I want to get to. Uh, yeah. I put the cat outside. Um, yeah, he got the Wonder Wishing hack. <laughs> yeah. And my portal was on the rogue level. Which is kind of cool, I guess. I wouldn't have picked it to happen that way. But that's how it happened. Which means I gotta traverse the rogue level every time I want to get back and forth from the quest. I've done so are you going down times. or up? Well I'm going down. I see no reason to do Sokoban since I have a bag of holding and an amulet of reflection. Mm -hmm. So luckily that means I get to skip Sokoban. Don't need two amulets of reflection so. I mean you know you could make the argument that you might want to have two bags of holding. I'm sure people love having two bags of holding. I would not sure I'd be able to keep straight everything that was going on. Hey, it's R two D seven. You should name him Dark Warrior. No. <laughs> I wouldn't wish that fate on a horse. <laughs> hey, it's R two D two that dies. I think this Dark is Dark Warrior is good. <laughs> I think He'll this... steal for you. Yeah, this is my stash here. So, I need to sort my stash real quick before we get serious about diving through these dungeon levels. I got some food put away, spare gauntlets of power in case mine become no good. 
I do have a spare pair of water walking boots to deal with the Medusa level, so that's not going to be a problem. Good old cheap plastic imitation of the Amulet of Yondor and a couple unidentified ones. Mostly this is my attempt to make holy water collections, so these two blessed ones, that's my holy water. Uh, I'm going to put all my potions in here for the time being. Get some stuff out of my bag. I'm um, not going to need the spare katanas and long swords. I'm keeping this on me, so in case I die, it'll add to my score. I did get snickersnee. Alchemy smoke in case I need poison uh, resistance. All these scrolls, keeping them mostly for blanking. Water potion can come out. Unidentified potions can come out. These I'm holding on to. Ah, I have a potion of levitation for Medusa also. <laughs> so that's good. After watching you go through that level, I'm really grateful that I have some of this stuff now. Bugle and candles, so I'm prepared for that part. Yeah, that's about all I need to take out of my bag. Yeah, this is the luckiest character on the planet. I'm going to hold this. I'll put it in my bag of holding once again if I die early. <laughs> and it'll add to my score. I've got an elven leather helm instead of a corroded orcish helm. That may actually be better. I'm going to switch these out. Lizard corpses, water potions, and miscellaneous potions can go away. And uh, we're passing up sit cougar, sil, sil cougar skill level now. Uh oh. <laughs> Part of the game you know a little of. What? Medusa? No, or? he knows all about Medusa. I retrieved the amulet one time. Rodney killed me halfway back up the dungeon. Yeah, I've retrieved the amulet one time. I actually did ascend. Uh, but I had a wand of death on me, and every time Rodney appeared, I just hit him with wand of death, and it was no big whoop. That part was actually really easy. I was amazed. Um, the astral plane was a mess. I about lost my mind going through the astral plane. So, did I put away the... Okay, that's going in the bag. That's the last thing I have to do. And then we can get started playing for real. Uncursed bag of holding. Put it in there. Because it's heavy. And I'm going to switch out these helmets. So that's all good. Uh, it's not better. I don't guess. It's not worse either. No worries. Okay. AC negative six. Hey, Nymeria did it with her character at AC negative six. Maybe I can too. What the heck is it? Need some help over here, Warhorse? Up in there. Come on, let's go down. Oop. <laughs> the dancing question mark. Horse, get over here, please. Yeah, he has two gauntlets of power. Yeah, two sets. <laughs> and two water walking boots. I would just like one of each. Yeah. And, you know, I just hope something grossly weird doesn't happen and I don't just get sucked down into the water by an eel or something, you know as I'm trying to get through there. Let's just hope for the best. Let's see. I mean, I about uh, 
about panicked when I went to walk on water as a test, you know? I thought, well, I should probably make sure this works, but the only way to verify it 100% is to step on water, and that just goes against every bone in my NetHack body. But it worked. They work. <laughs> you can wear water walking boots, as a matter of fact, and walk on water. So, All right, level 22. We should be getting really close now. He had a wand of death or two, but was rushing really fast. I was a Valkyrie, negative 20 or so AC, and at all the stuff in the world. Then hubris. I killed Rodney like five times. He eventually caught me off guard. I believe his storm vortex <laughs> teamed up on me. Ever since I've hated all vortexes, water is always scary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've got a healthy fear of vortexes. Oh, and Slash has discovered gain level potions and drink them. Yeah, I do have them identified. If I find more of them, it'd be great. I want to be as high a level as I can, I guess. They say at some point that can actually start to work against you, but... I'm okay with it. You just do a low level playthrough. What's the problem? Yeah. Like the old Dark Souls days. I'm going to beat the get. I am so glad he's peaceful. Those guys. I hate those guys when they're not peaceful. Don't let him hear you say that. He's nice right now. You're right. He's fine. He's fine. Peaceful's okay. Gremlins are so freaking cute on here. You wouldn't think they'd be me. That's weird. I think you're in the dark sea. No, it's no. just a little pool of water. water there. The uh, sunless sea is a slashing level. Oh. Who you're gonna have so much fun when Slashem comes out on <laughs> Steam? Oh yeah. man! You can walk on that water to find a staircase. Yeah, but you know what I said about not liking to. Weird though, no door here. Um, I uh, use my pickaxe frequently. I think I might do it again. Let's do it. This wall is undickable. Uh, you know what? Are you on a special level? Actually, I'm seeing something kind of funny over here. Let's two weapon again because I think I'm going to need these. Two weapon. There we go. Do you see? It looks like there's a wall here that I didn't see. Yeah, there's a gap. You actually have to walk on the water here. Make sure I got my boots on. Make dang sure I got my boots on. Yeah, water walking boots are being worn. Put your blindfold on. Oh, no. Yep. Yeah. It's the sun of sea. No, it's not the sun of sea. Dungeons of Doom level 23? Maybe it is. Maybe it's Medusa. Where's our wiki expert? Silkover, you're letting us down, man. What is this? Ick. A baby blue dragon trapped in a web. Wow, this is going to make me feel shitty, but... You should. What in the world am I looking at? This is Medusa. Is this another Medusa level? I guess it is, isn't it? Okay. You might want to put your blindfold on, though. Yeah. Let's do that. <laughs> yeah. Electric eels. Blech. Electric eels and the castle. Could this be the castle? This is now it's the uh, alt level for Medusa, I guess. Um, that's cool. It's going to make a great screenshot. Um, I can walk on water, but uh, not if these eels drag me down, I don't think. I think they can still drag me under, if I remember right. 
Let's get a great screenshot. Um, so, perhaps I can kind of sneak around them like this. Let them come this way and then I'll go back. guys you can all accumulate over here on this side and be just fine this looks like and I don't know if that's an entrance or not I can't see around the building to see if there's a door on the other side or what we're dealing with oh uh, shit really that's not good it says you oh and I couldn't see it because what it's a mindless creature no, the electric eel bites. You get zapped. Your wand of death breaks apart and explodes. No. Your wand of teleport breaks apart and explodes. Light, cold, etc. All in one hit by an electric eel. And I've got an unseeable part of the room here. Oh, no. You hit it, you are splashed. The electric eel brushes against your leg. Well, there goes my wand of death. Dang it. <laughs> Thank God I didn't have this level. This one would be easier to deal with with just jumping boots. That part, That's you know. That's true, but... Okay, this looks like an entrance over here to me, doesn't it to you? Maybe a hallway? Once I get to it, I think I can take my blindfold off. doesn't look like there's going to be any more water monsters. Boy, that was uh, amazingly fast how he did that to me. You know what? Wait a minute. Let's think about this. I don't want Medusa to suddenly appear while I'm not wearing my blindfold. Yeah, I don't know of a reason you should take it off. Just to see could be the last thing you do. Oh, this Go is towards interesting. that dingo. <coughs> Go towards the dingo, man. You know he's on land. There. What's that, I wonder? I'm going to take my blind ball for a second. I can tell Medusa's not right here. She's got to be over here. Right? She's not going to see me or whatever. What's going on here? Where is Medusa? That's a very good question. There's a vampire here. Vampire Lord. There, there she, she is. is. Yeah, I'm good to remove that. Holy crap, There's yeah, this cobras level Cobras and everything. Wow. If you use a ring of levitation, the shock would have sent you to the depths. But really? then you weren't doing that. No kidding. Wow. Yeah, good thing. There's some free po um, scrolls. Yay. Oh, really? More water. Well, that's okay. It looks like there's a hallway off to the side. Let me check that out first. Yeah, okay. That's fine. Just more water to deal with. <clears throat> Let's check for water monsters. No water monsters. So, should be good to cross here with my eyesight. Not too worried about that cockatrice. I think he'll go down in one hit. I don't know what that golem was, but it's just a plastic golem, right? Stone golem. 
I feel kind of like an Intel operative feeding info to field agents, right? <laughs> it's much appreciated. <laughs> much yeah. appreciated. Definitely. That's usually how I feel because I'm usually Googling. Whoa, wait. Those wolves can freeze blast. Yeah. Oh, when I killed the stone golem, he turned into a statue. Yeah. <laughs> a statue of a stone golem? Yeah. That's his corpse and death. <laughs> he doesn't leave a body corpse. He just stands there like a statue when you kill him. That's great. All right, getting closer to Medusa now. Uh, rock trap, perhaps? Just a boulder. I guess it's just a boulder. Can't push it. And it could, looks like I need to cross the water to get to the next phase here. You know, just out of good What's habits. Up, Taco Boss? Hey, Taco Boss! What's up, dude? Man, I haven't been playing very much The Last of Us. Uh, this game came out on Steam, and I'm pretty much done nothing but uh, record during the beta phase. And uh, we're now playing this game on Twitch quite a bit. How are you doing on Last of Us? And by the way, Taco Boss, you ought to check this game out. If you want to buy it on Steam, it's like three bucks. It's a awesome price for this game. Uh, let's see, which way? Well, yeah, there's no The Last wheels. of Us, it's a PS3 game um, that we used to play forever. We used to play it all of the freaking time. Um, it's a shooter game. Third person shooter. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah, I've still got uh, some friends on Last of Us who uh, kind of miss having us in the squad, don't they? We used to play all the time. And now, yeah, because we're the bestest. Because we're, we're pretty darn good, put if I say so on. myself. Put your blindfold on. You think it's time for that already? Okay, putting the blindfold on. Well, no, I'm awful at the game. Yeah. Holy, holy, holy. <laughs> Did any of your wands make it? And that's a vampire lord. I think he's going to get a shot from my, uh, he is definitely getting a shot from my uh, lightning wand. Is it? Did it not explode? That's a good question. Did it explode? No, I've still got it. So not all is lost. I've got two of them. Bolt of lightning hits him, bounces off the wall, hits him again. He's still standing. Explain that to me. I'll bet he can't walk on... Oh, wait, he flies. He can fly yeah, can right fly. over the water. All right, more lightning, please. <laughs> no! Sayonara, level 15. She just sucked a level out of me. Unbelievable. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, it is on PS4, and it's on PS3. We played it on PS3, so we ain't got no PS4. No. Just wait for a PS3 emulator. You know, they say that the graphics card on the PlayStation 3 is so good that it's really hard to build an emulator for it. But, I mean, you know, eventually, surely it'll happen. Unicorn Horn? will not help to get me my level back. No, he sucks that level out of you and it's just gone. But I got it right back once I killed him, fortunately. It just basically reset me to the beginning of uh, experience level 15. No, it doesn't cure level drain. You need level drain resistance, unfortunately. Which you may have an amulet for, but you won't identify them. Yeah, that's right. Now, is this this what I'm worried about? Is this an open room? I don't think it is. Yeah, there's a wall right here because the Wand of Lightning bounced off of it. Carnivorous 
I do want to see if this guy had any wands on him. Nope. Yeah, I wish a unicorn horn cured level drain. Me too. Of course, if it did, level drain wouldn't be that big of a deal. <laughs> yeah. Don't mind me. A statue of a monk named First User. <laughs> that was my very first character. And his statue is down here. Does that mean that he, I mean, you know, you'd think that meant that he... I think I can take these Cobras. I've got poison resistance, right? I think I have poison resistance. Why do you think that? Why do I think that? Maybe I should put that <laughs> apron on. Let's take off the cloak of displacement and get that apron out. Now I believe I have poison resistance. I don't even know what that question means. Why is the GFX card said to be good in the PS3? <laughs> I have no idea, Dark Warrior. Now you're way over my head on that one. Okay, I killed the Cobra. And I killed the other Cobra. So, should be good to go on that note. There's a Cobra here, a statue, and ten stones. Okay. Unseen monster. Was a statue of a stone golem. There was another one. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Yeah, he's eating like a thousand. Um red nagas and we still don't know if he's got fire resistance and he's wielding what are you wielding? Frostbrand. Right. Frostbrand for the win. Here we go. Wait. No we don't. Yeah we do. There's Medusa. It's like she's asleep or something. And I'll bet she'll run downstairs as soon as I hit her. What do you bet? Which is okay. I hit her. I there hit she her. Went. She went downstairs. And she's running for it, evidently. Don't take off your... No, I've still got my blindfold on. How did she get over there? Uh, you know, I don't know, but that's a minotaur. Yeah. Oh, here we go. He's on the other side of the wall. Medusa's right here. Yeah. Dead. Now, if the other Minotaur doesn't block the staircase, I can check what she's got. She's got a scroll. I'll go check that out in a second. I've got to now think about getting back to that staircase. Deadly. All right, blindfold to come off. And that's it. Medusa's level is cleared. <laughs> what is he betting? 